Ethan, I want to thank you for coming to camp. My name is Thad Johnson with ABC, and I'll be doing your pitching lesson here today. We're going to get right into the balance position, and you do a real, real good job of lifting your leg to the top of your delivery before moving forward. What I'll do is I'll draw a line off your back foot, and we'll just we'll move in. We'll move your, you're going to, as you move your leg up. You do a good job of getting your hips back, okay, loading up over the top. You're a little bit forward, but again, you don't go forward. You stay behind. I always like to tell, you know, tell my guys, pretend like there's a wall. To pretend like there's a wall in front of you, and don't allow yourself to break that wall until you get to the top of the delivery. So you're doing an excellent job of that. Now, when we move into the directional part of the, the pitching delivery, I want to have a constant constant flow of movement where as you move forward, your weight is just going to stay over that back leg. Now you start off you start off real well and you start to you start to lead with your hips, which is something that we always we like all of our guys to do. Okay. You hang on to the baseball. What should what should start happening here is is, is this foot as this foot starts to take off forward, okay, as you start to move move that foot forward, your glove should begin to move forward with it. And I always like to I always like to tell tell guys to just keep keep their glove and their front foot Try to keep them together, and this is something that takes practice. But what what's going to fix the, fix this for you, Ethan, is that you're going to get this as you start to make your way towards home plate. Okay, your lower half's going forward, and now you're just leaning. As you can see, you got that big time lean in the delivery in the top half of your or in the top half of your body. You want to stay upright. All right, you just want to stay. Keep your head over that belly button, uh, head over your belt buckle. So you're not, we're not leaning down because ultimately you're going to have to try to stand back up through the pitch and you have a lot of body parts going in different directions. You want everything just to stay nice. You want everything to stay back, upright, strong over the backside, and then go forward. So you need to, you need to separate your hands a little bit earlier. I, I would have to say, you know, at this point, as you start to go forward, your hand should be separating. The front side should get out there towards your foot. We're not going to lean back. You can do that. You can work on this. A lot of mirror work is the best way to do it. You get yourself in front of the mirror and just practice, practice separating, lifting your legs, separating your hands, keeping that glove and that foot together. As you now, now look, you, you do a great job of trying to trying to catch up, but your backside is. Is so far behind, okay, or your top half is so bar, so far behind because of the lean back that now you're going to shorten up, and you really have to speed up the top half, okay. And one thing you got here is you got a high backside, real high back elbow. This right here is going to lead to injury down the road. All right, okay. You need to work on lowering that elbow. That elbow should be down here somewhere. Weights forward. If you're to just split your feet right in half here and draw a line up through your head where the majority of your weight looks like it is, and it looks like it is forward in front of that line. Your weight needs to be back. Okay, your weight needs to get back over here. That back leg should be bent a little bit more. Okay, and there should be less flexion in the uh, in the front leg when you land when you land. And again, this is just something that you can you can work on in front of a mirror, okay? And work work on without a baseball. This is going to be the the best your best friend. The mirror is going to be your best friend over the next, you know, probably you know, four to six months of just you know trying to re redo your delivery, okay, to prevent this this injury, um, this injury prone delivery that you have right now because that that elbow being so high and then it's going to drop down. Okay, it's just it's it's wreaking havoc on your uh, on all your joints, your shoulder and your elbow. A lot of the 
arm injuries today are linked to that high elbow that you see right there on foot strike. So that's something that you really need to clean up. We move on to the release point and just make sure that even if you end up being a, a low three-quarter guy, which you are, or a sidearm guy, that you're always working to get the fingers on top of the baseball. The finger should always be on top so that ball gets, gets, out, gets out and goes downhill. You're, uh, you do a great job on your finish. You have a nice long, you know, long finish over your front leg. You really use your lower half well. One thing that you don't see a whole lot of younger pitchers do is get off that rubber and use their use their backside to kick through. So that's a that's a great job. Um, just to kind of go back and review, we're going to take a look at another pitch here. As you come set, as you come set, we're going to think about just bringing our bringing our leg up, staying over the rubber. Okay, now which you do a great job of. This is where you really need to you need to focus on fixing your delivery. Okay, keep your body upright. Keep your head in line with your belly button. So you don't have to fix it late in the delivery. This is if you keep your head over your belly button, okay, and you don't have this this tilt in your delivery as you see right now on the stop video, you're going to be able to get more length with the glove, you're going to be able to get a bigger stride. You're going to cut down the distance to home plate. You're not going to open up so early. Your arm, okay, is going to allow your arm to get longer and looser, and you're not going to land with that high back elbow. So these are all things that you can work on in front of the mirror. And, and it really with a, with a partner, just ask them, just do dry work. Hey, am I leaning back? Do I have the tilt, or, or am I staying upright? And then as we move through, make sure your, your fingers get on top of the baseball with that low with that low sidearm delivery, and you look like you do a real pretty good job of that. Right after here, release, you actually have very, very good posture. You're out over your front leg. You're staying connected with the rubber. So you get to a pretty good position. We just really need to really need to make sure you you work on the uh, the pre-pitch or the, the beginning of the delivery before you deliver the pitch work on some of those things to protect your arm against injury. So Ethan, I want to I want to thank you for coming to camp. Hope you learned a little bit here today to to help you in the future. Thank you.